Welcome back everybody to another episode of XCOM Apocalypse. So, we are finally in week 5. Things are starting to look interesting. And, well, still no biochemistry project. We are researching the UFO type 3. And we are creating toxin type B. And is there anything we want to produce after? Yes, actually, we're gonna produce some toxin guns. And we have also begun construction of our second base, which is right adjacent to the one we have. And how about recruits? Well, hello there. 100. 100 is always nice to have. How about quantum? No. Or mechanics or technicians? Actually, get both of them. Doesn't really hurt. So, what to do and what to do. First and foremost, check equipment. And you're getting two clips as well. Even if you don't have a pistol, you will get one later. You got two, you got two, you got none, you got none. So now, hopefully, we will be ready for a, another alien invasion. And there came the new technicians. Now let's see, 16% already, well it's going, going really fast, okay, these guys, you are going to get ready, somewhere, where the hell, over there, oh, good god, I do not like this, you guys get over there. And you guys should get over there. And medium altitude, yes. So the aliens can shoot down upon us and into the city. Pissing off everyone else. Except me. UFO type 3. The primary mission is crafted to deposit alien life forms inside the sitting buildings. This represents a serious challenge for our ground forces, but if they can be shut down before they unload the passengers, then the problem will be minimized. The craft is armed with the same beam weapon as the scout ships or probes, but it's slower moving and it's easier to target a hit. Yes, thank you. Biotransport. And yes, we're going to research that before the other alien ships. Mainly because the biotransport is the ship we're going to um, convert into. And Hawk Area already out of. Good timing there. Could have waited a little bit longer. One would think, but no. Of course not. Two alien destroyers. And oh, poor 
assault ship. I almost feel sorry for it. And this is Osirian. Slums. And you are going to unload where exactly? Going over here, you two guys return to base. And you guys, let's get cracking. Now, let's see. Good. We are not hostile against Osirian or Osirian. Which will help quite a lot. And psych. Well, you guys got your priorities set for you. And why are you guys not shooting at um, this thing? Now you guys can return home. And our Valkyr Valkyr interceptor can go and deposit some troops. Even if this is well gangs area, we would like to kill them as fast as possible. And as you can see, most of our guys have Toxigan. So hopefully this won't be too hard. And it's one of my favorite maps. So this will be really easy. Well, hopefully at least. Now let's see, what can we do with you guys? How about getting you as far from the opening as possible so you get time to react? I can hear that. Seeing as this is a gang territory, we don't really need to, um, you know, spare the building. And let's throw you back. Good throw. Oh. Now that's a good throw for me. Battle Bunny is under attack. Gee, I wonder why. And you can still see one, or maybe not a C one. Seriously? Let's extend this to two seconds and throw one up here. Nope. Did not go so well. But where the hell is he? Battle Bunny, how about your throwing accuracy? Can you get it up here? 
or anywhere near. Hello. All the way up there. Wow. Well, not the best idea of you guys to get a... Uh, Whatever they called. Brain fart. They are called as much as entropy launchers. But seriously? Yes, I know you guys are under attack, but... Can you please spot him? Oh, look. Well, of course he was being cloaked. You know, wouldn't have been XCOM Apocalypse if it wasn't. Oh, and you can see a Brain sucker, and he's now a dead brain sucker. That's the way I like it. We can hear you guys. Come on down. Not gonna hurt you. Well. Let's just say I'm not gonna hurt them. Because we all know that I really am going to hurt them. Bad. We could be so evil and send Battle Bunny up here and take a look. Seriously, you have to go in to see something? Apparently yes. Can you throw this grenade over here without it hitting a wall? Nope, you could not. How about standing right here? while these guys rush upstairs to kill off any alien stupid enough to be in our way. Seriously? gonna place you guys here and there he is now don't wreck the building please well at least not too much Outside is fine because it looks like crap anyway. But at least try to save the interior. Oh, 
Oh, someone is panicking. I can hear it. Oh, poor Skeletoid. Sen får du promot squad leader, men för att du promot squad leader behöver du bara promot squad leader. Awesome. Now, let's just get back to base and get going with the other building, which would be this one. Nope. How about this one? This one is. Actually, just gonna check to be sure. Psych. Yes, stay on on that building so. Life through what the hell? Why are you pissed off? I don't understand you guys, but okay. Let's see. Everyone has. Everyone did not have two clips of ammunition. That's not uh, acceptable. Here you go. And there you go. And as you can see, we're out of stun grenades. And Newton Alliance, no. This one, psych. And hopefully this will be uh, as quick and painless as the other. And let's see. And this is one of these buildings. Oh, good God. Okay. Run in here as fast as possible. And hopefully we won't die. And here comes our first victims Copras the greatest under enemy fire You guys go over there You guys go over there You guys go over there And you guys go over there And there's a crap load of Brain suckers coming at us. Well, just kneel and get to it. Kill these buggers. So I think we've more or less isolated them to this tower here. The battle bunny is getting shot at. Oh man, you guys are dead now. Okay, run over here. Oh my, you're trying to run away. Bad move there. Very bad move. Copros the Great, promote squad leader. Kunz Kaloon, promote Scar Sergeant. H. Clary, squad leader. Lingso, squad leader. Captain K, squad leader. Horseum Squaddy and Cinemorph Squad Leader. We got quite a few squad leaders. I don't know which kind of squads you all gonna lead, but hopefully we can figure something out. Don't be mad, guys. Anyway, that was two infestation dealt with 
quite fast, I would say. So, um, hopefully, these two UFOs will be quick and pain free also. But that, ladies and gentlemen, you will have to wait for until next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.